There's a couple of vehicles here. I'd rather not ruin my pickup truck. Vehicles are limited, you guys let me know as well. So if I get a parking garage, I could... <gasps> Oh my god! Welcome back, everybody, to State of Decay Breakdown, episode number three, year one edition, etc., etc. Um, number one, thanks a lot for the amazing feedback on episode one and two. You guys let me know, Falcon, we want to see this on the channel, so I'm definitely keeping it around. And I'm really glad about that, because as I mentioned, I was going to play this game on my own time anyway, so the fact I get to share it with you guys makes it a lot more fun for me to kind of, like, you know, just shoot the shit me while I play, which is a lot more fun all the time. Uh, number two, you guys have left me a lot of amazing advice, because as I mentioned, I am not familiar with this game at all, which makes it a lot more fun for me when I come into a game that I'm not sure what to do it's always like a really fun learning experience for me so you guys let me know a lot of amazing advice so let me show you what I've done here based on your advice here so far I got the kitchen up and running with our materials that we had already built up I got a sleeping area which allows me to switch characters as you can see right now I'm not longer using the same guy I was using beforehand you guys let me know Falcon you have to switch characters because you have to kind of level them up so whenever you transfer to a different level you have some people kind of well-rounded. You're not completely like gimp by only having one powerful character and nobody else that's really good. Over here, I built a medical facility as well so we get our injuries cleared up and our sicknesses and all that other stuff. Can you come down here? Good. So, I think we're ready to go. Now, the other thing I need to do is actually make some outposts based on your advice. You told me that helps me with the zombie hordes. And this base is probably not where I want to stay. So, I am definitely know where I want to move. But before I can actually move there, I do believe I need about 10 people in the community. Right now, we have 7. So, I have to kind of recruit a few more people. And then we can move over to another facility that's actually better reinforced than this one and also bigger which gives us a lot more chance to kind of store and make different facilities and whatnot so uh, as i mentioned you guys have been really amazing with the advice so keep doing that i really appreciate it right now let's go ahead and grab some food for my journey armored zed hunt i'm not sure if i want to do that one over here is the rv stranger in trouble dude you're so far why are you so far away you know what? I want to move bases, so I think the faster we get more people into our community, probably the better. So, this is going to be a long trip. Oh yeah, you guys told me about storing stuff into vehicles. Falcons stick to the pickup trucks, they have the more HP. And you could also store a lot more things in there, like the... You know those rucksacks I was breaking down because I had no idea what to do with them? Well, do not break down the stuff, just put them into your vehicle and you can carry them back that way. Uh, let's see, so I'm going out the right way. Yo, my friend. My friend. Fuck off. Oh no, my door! Oh, what a dick. <laughs> well, I guess it's on me right there. Alright. Neighbors are in trouble. I could go back there and help them out. It's not... Actually, I'm actually here. Oh, fuck, that's a juggernaut, though. You guys let me know. Falcon, don't deal with the juggernauts. They're scary dudes. Um, can you, like, get off of my car? Yeah, thank you. Let me just run you over here. There's another pickup in case I need it, which I probably will. Um, I'm gonna try to help my friends, my my colleagues, my neighbors here, but this juggernaut is probably something I can't mess around with too much. Um, hey, do you guys need help with the juggernaut? Is what you're calling me for? I don't want to help you with the juggernaut. I'll help you with something else, but not the juggernaut. All right, let's find out what these dudes want. I'm here. What's up? What's up, Cash? I remember you. What's the good word? I don't know what's the good word. What do you need help with? What's the good word? Shut up. <laughs> who are you? It's the freaks we really gotta worry about. Okay, about? you're the one who wants help. Let's go. Let's Where are we do going? This. We're going somewhere. Oh, we're going over to the co cool people. Oh, good. Not the juggernaut? Great. You follow me then. You follow me. I have a. Oh, hey. How you doing, everybody? No, look, this is a really bad spot for you because I'm just gonna. Yeah. Double team your ass. Oh, I just clipped through the fence. That's fine. You think that worries me? Get in the car, dog. We have to... Please get in the car. There's not even a door. You don't even have to open a door. All right, here we go. Juggernaut, I don't want to hear... No, don't start yelling. I don't want to hear it. It's a possibility I might have alerted that horde. That's their problem, though. It's not my problem. Oh, here's another horde, though. This is the reason why we need those outposts. You told me that the outposts help against the hordes. Uh, we left one dude behind. Might as well just deal with the horde now. This gives us a bit of uh, extra influence as well. My car is really, really bad shape. Hey, are you kidding me? Oh, come on! Yo, guys, get your asses over here. I want to get the influence for these extra kills. That it? No. This guy. Yo, get over here. Yo, here's the idea. Dude in the car with me? Get on a tricycle. <laughs> oh my god, that wasn't going to kill him. Just use the wheel for it. Alright, let's come over here and deal with these freaks that they talked about. What does that mean exactly? I have no idea, but I guess we'll find out. There's a couple of vehicles here. I'd rather not 
ruin my pickup truck. Vehicles are limited, you guys let me know as well. So if I get a parking garage, I could- <gasps> right, Oh my god! You wanna dance? Oh, these are the ferals you guys told me about. You guys told me these guys are terrifying. Oh shit. I could see that. Yo, can we bring them down? There we go. Finish them off. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. I could see how you guys tell me to avoid the ferals at all times. Now, there's a trick to them. Allegedly, if I roll when they're coming at me, um, it's not so bad. So, there's like a way to kind of like cheese them a little bit here. Is this like an SUV? You know what? This pickup truck's really fucked up. I'm not sure that's an SUV. It looks more like a, a soccer mom vehicle. That's fine. It should have some capability to store stuff in the back, right? Let's use this one. Okay. So, we helped out the neighbors. That's going to give us a bit of extra... Poise not what I like better standing with them, I guess. I almost want to get the outpost up and running before I go save somebody else. But the thing is that the, the missions are timed when it comes to rescuing people. Oh, there's another person here. Zombie infestation. No, I don't really care about that. Alright, let's go for the stranger in trouble. Are you guys will be okay if I'm gone? Okay. Thank you. I'm glad I have. If you wanted to claim dibs on some of the better gear, I don't think anybody's mine. Oh, you better give me the better gear. I'm the one keeping us alive here. Pavilion. You guys at the pavilion, huh? How do I come in here? Oh. I guess it was too much to hope that we'd find a working RV. There's a bloater. There's something wrong with the engine. Maybe we can fix it if we hammer on it for a while. What do uh. How do I get in here? Bloater, don't start this shit right now. I'm trying to. F okay, here we go. Stamina, stamina, stamina. Take a snack. Yo. Yo, let me in. I'm trying to help you out. I, I need to figure out how to get in there first. Okay, wait. Is there entrance maybe on the other side? All right, look. Just just hang in there, guys. I'll try to get to you without hopefully breaking. Don't break yourself. Don't break yourself, Falcon. Oh, we're fine. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess we saved them. It was just basically coming here. It was the moral support. The idea that we were going to help them is what um, helped them get through it. I don't know. I don't know how to get in there. Do you guys see a way to get in? Oh, there's an there's an opening up there, but how the fuck do I get up there? Well, the problem now is that I'm stuck in this little fairground. I have no idea how to get out of already. There's a gate over there. Some stuff I could loot over here as well. Technically, oh, that's an armored Zed running at. Oh no, you you piece of shit! He snuck up on me. I need a breather. All right, yo 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 yo. Excuse me. Excuse me, armored Zed. Really not the way we conduct business around here, armored Zed. All righty, let's um leave. Let's leave. You stop punching my fucking vehicle. Alrighty, what's it done to you? Nothing at all. Alrighty, well, hey, we rescued this guy without necessarily even having to do much. So, hey, it worked out. Alright, so we're approaching this um, besiegement over here. This is where that juggernaut was at, man. Alrighty, yeah, yeah. come over here. Let me use the vehicle to just mow down a couple of you. Oh my goodness, God. Yeah, wrecked. Alrighty, let's see here. Cutlass, you ready for this shit? Here we go. Lucy, I'm home. Okay. Let's just bust in through the window. How guys doing, huh? I'm here to help. We could use some help. Uh, you want me to barric help you barricade? Okay, let's get started. Defend the perimeter. Come on, we need to put up some barricades. Why don't you um just come and join me instead? Probably best this way. No, you don't think? Alrighty, well. I honestly believe that you guys joining me would be a lot better for your survival. Then I could actually move to the better base. There's a guy running over there. Where's Jugger at? Where's this Juggalo at? Oh my god, there he is! Holy shit. Hey, guys, guys, guys. You guys take care of it. I'm gonna hang out in the back, okay? This is your... Look, he's about to come in, guys. Hey, over here. Guys, right there. That's him. Go! Oh yeah. Yeah. Level two. Okay, nice. Remember, this guy we haven't leveled up, so he's definitely a bit weaker. Um, guys, this juggernaut out here, though, like, how do you deal with him? <laughs> uh. 
No, I missed the. Ah! 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 I would run if I had stamina. Guys, how do you deal with him? Don't just stand over here. The problem's back here. Alrighty, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this shit. These guys aren't being too helpful here. Alrighty, how do how do we do? Damn, I should have brought some Molotovs. People told me Falcon used Molotovs. No, Falcon didn't bring any Molotovs, did he? Alright, you guys are in a problem. <sighs> oh, we're fine now. I don't, I don't know. Things just suddenly completed this game without apparently my actual involvement in them. I'm not complaining, but I was over here making the ultimate sacrifice for these people by trying to take care of this uh, Juggernaut by myself. But no, no, apparently they somehow took care of it. Either that or they just talked to Juggernaut into leaving. One or the other. It's like, you know what, Juggernaut, you have better things to do. Get out of here. And he's like, you know what, you're right. I got better things to do, indeed. And he just left. Alrighty, well, the besiegement is done. That's great. Let's work on getting an outpost for ourselves. I was told that the police station would be really ideal, which is down over here. Plus, we get some actual firearms, which is something I probably want to use for the Juggernaut and the Bloater. Assuming we have the... Whoop. What happened in here? Oh, it was you. Assuming we have the suppressors to use them. Alright, look, can you fall over? No, no, don't get on top of the, the furniture. Nobody taught you any manners or what? You don't you don't stand on top of the furniture. Alright, let's start doing some searching over here. Everything's been searched now, so technically I should be able to home call scavengers to collect resources and useful gear from this location. However, if I don't unload everything and I make this an outpost, you guys tell me that it will essentially garner more of the same items over time if I don't pillage it completely and make it an outpost. So instead of anything else, let's go ahead and make the outpost now then. Wouldn't be a bad idea to set up here. Pretty big stuff. Sure you want to go through with this? Yeah. Tell the gang we're building an outpost here. Boom. Alrighty, so we have our Coming first outpost. Now. We have traps ready. As you can see now, that's kind of uh, increased our little area of influence over here. So whenever zombies, like, is coming through this area, we will have, like, a, a first type of attack so they limit the hordes coming down to our actual base itself. Now, we don't want to stay here forever, but I guess, meanwhile, until we get more people recruited, we probably want to have some outposts set up meanwhile. So, um, we have the outpost over here set up. Let's get on out of here. I need to find out where Anna's at. I think I want to use Anna for our party as well. She seems like a really good eagle eye, likes to hunt, team player. Pretty decent stats as well, so we'll probably try to grab her. Um, we can go back to Lucas. Lucas is doing fine now, but we leveled him up a lot already, so let's swap over to somebody we haven't used. So maybe like a Peyton. Peyton isn't really that great, but um, I need to swap people around here a little bit more. Okay. So, Zambro's over there. We have a lot of good stuff in our base, at least. So, yeah, yeah. Take it, take it easy there, Aaron. Go upstairs, get some rest. Um, all right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap up the episode here. I'm gonna take a look at the upgrades carefully. I'll come back next episode, and I will do the upgrades now that I know what to do with them, and we will go forward. Um, we need more survivors. Apparently, we're still missing three more people before we could actually move over to the big base that I want to move over here too. But uh, so far, thanks a lot for the advice. Um, keep leaving it as well. If anything that I'm doing wrong, do let me know about it and I'll try to switch it up when I record next time. Right now, I plan to record maybe the next two episodes, so just a bit of a heads up. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.